What's up, YouTube? It's Heretic here, and welcome back. Today we are looking at a Gyarados deck. This deck revolves around the Gyarados from Ancient Origins with the Ancient Trait Theta Double. Trait doesn't really mean much, it's just the attacker of choice, so... Aside from having badass artwork, this card, for two colorless, does full retaliation, which does 30 damage plus 30 more damage for each damage counter on each of our benched Magikarp. He does have a second attack, but we don't use it. We don't play Water Energy. <laughs> So, we're using full retaliation here. So, we need Magic Arps, which have always had 30 HP on our bench with a lot of damage counters, meaning probably 20 damage a piece. So, how are we going to make that happen, you ask? Well, that's a good question, and we have the answer. And that card is Team Magma's Hidden Base, which states that whenever a player puts a basic Pokemon other than Team Magma Pokemon from the hand onto the bench, two damage counters go onto that Pokemon. So, every time you bench a Magic Arp, Two damage counters accompany it, meaning that we can have three magic arps on the bench, and then the fourth one would be under Gyarados, of course, meaning we could do 210 damage with full retaliation, almost enough to knock out uh, some of the bigger mega evolutions. We are knocking out everything else in the game right now with that. So a 4 3 Gyarados line. We don't play the fourth Gyarados because, quite frankly, we don't have room. So, I mean, I guess we could cut this Mew, but we do, you know, right now we're trying out with one Mew EX. It's kind of cool. Nice little uh, attacker we can use to hit Psychic Weakness. It's kind of fun. Uh, one Mr. Mime, this is a very crucial part of the deck with a bunch of 10 HP basics effectively sitting on our bench. And Galvantula in particular could take advantage of that, which is played in the Rainbow Road decks that already present an awkward matchup. It's also important, really, just against anything that snipes the bench, especially that, you know, Fright Knight obviously can only snipe our Shamans and our Mew, but anything else, you know, that can snipe those Magic Arps, we gotta take care of that, and quickly. So the Mr. Mime is there, and then two Shamans for draw power. So that is our Pokemon lineup. We run very, very trainer heavy, if you can't tell. So we're gonna get into our items here. Four Acrobikes. This is a card that can speed us to stuff like double colorless energy, which Trainer's Mail cannot do. We also play four Trainer's Mail. Similar concept, you know, kind of a Night March-ish kind of engine. So we got those going. Four Buddy Buddy Rescue. Now this is so when our Gyaradoses get knocked out, we can grab the Magikarp back from the discard to our hand, more importantly, and then bench it in two damage counters again from Team Magma's hidden base. Uh, next we have a 4-3 Ultra Ball Dive Ball split. Ultra Ball, of course, able to get Shaman early game, get Mr. Mime in those crucial situations. And then 3 Dive Ball as well, just to search out the Magikarp and Gyarados. Um, next we have one copy of Special Charge, which is because we only run 4 Double Colorless, so against non-EX decks you're going to probably need more than 4 energy, so that's why we play this card. I would play 2 copies if we had room, but as you can see, we're real tight on space due to all our speed cards so it is a high risk high reward kind of run we're going with here uh, next we play two super rods just to get our Gyaradoses back since buddy buddy is almost exclusively used for magikarp can also retrieve shamans or uh, mr mime there mew whatever uh, one town map because if we start to prize crucial pieces we need to be able to retrieve it very much like the night march and vespaquin decks from before and then four VS Seekers, again, the norm. You know, you should pretty much come to expect that in every deck that doesn't run Vile Plume, I feel like. Supporters, we have two Lysanders, two Ns, and four Sycamores, just the standard stuff. And then one Pokemon Ranger exclusively for the Giratina matchup. They try to lock us out of double colorless. We need a way around that. Next, we play a full four copies of Team Magma's Secret Base. Again, consistency being the big deal here making sure we can draw into these things early and often to get our setup. Three Bursting Balloons, which helps out with the Mega Evolutions that exceed 210 HP, Scizor and Rayquaza being the big ones. And then two Float Stones for retreating methods, obviously. And then four Double Colorless for our energy cost. So that is our Gyarados deck, and we are going to take it into battle. Okay, so it looks like we're starting off against probably a Rainbow Road, which is one of the worst matchups we could draw. That's not good. But we do get to go first, so silver lining. Hooray. Okay, so we start with a mulligan. Lovely. So we'll send it back and retry. 
And, oh, another one. This deck doesn't run a lot of basics, so I guess that's probably bound to happen a few times. All right, we have the magic arc this time, so I can put that up to the active. And I don't know how I feel about this hand. I feel like we definitely need to get another basic right now. Oh, geez. Okay, so he starts with a Pawniard. So we're going to play a Trainer's Mail. And, oh, there's a Sycamore. That's not bad. A Sycamore, a Buddy Buddy. Um, we're going to take the Sycamore. Probably not going to play it just yet. Um, got... Oh, one of them's prized. That sucks. Alright, so... We can... Play the Stadium play the magic harp just in the event that this one actually survives i don't think that thing's gonna knock it out i mean you could bench a second one in the fighting fury belt i guess It'd be pretty hilarious but we're just gonna pass the turn i think right here and then we'll just sit on this hand for next turn he's got like a hundred cards to play here so we're probably in for a pretty long turn on his end so he discards karen and another ultra ball Probably gonna see either Xerneas or I don't think he's playing the Hoopa version since he has Pontiard. So it's probably gonna be uh, Xerneas here. Okay, there it is. All right, so that comes down, takes twenty right away, and we can actually Oko or sorry, Ohko uh, Xerneas without having the fourth Magic Carp, just solely because we're doing enough damage with just this. But of course, he just grabbed an N with uh, Trainer's Mail, so that could screw us up. All right, so we see an EXP share go on to Xerneas here. Puts the Fairy Energy on the Pawniard. Puts a Shaman down, so we're going to see a three-card setup here. Really hope he doesn't play that in. But he probably will, because he knows we have a Sycamore in hand. So, yep, there it is. Damn. Wishful thinking, guys. Wishful thinking. Okay, so we actually don't draw terrible off here. We miss only the double colorless. We've got an Ultra Ball and a Dive Ball to get us a Gyarados and the other Magikarp. We can put another Stadium down if we need to, which, yep, that's going to be a thing. And then we can just Sycamore the rest of it. We don't even need to play these Bursting Balloons down. So he's just going to pass a turn. Okay, so we maintain our Magikarp, so let's... Acrobike here. Oh, we hit two ends. Okay, so we're just going to discard one of them. Obviously. Um, so we're going to go grab Magikarp, and then we can Ultra Ball for the Gyarados as well. We can throw an N and the Bursting Balloon away. Ultra Ball here. Bursting Balloon and N. Grab a Gyarados. And we're going to check and see how many uh, colorless energies are in deck. Okay, so three. So that's that's about normal. Uh, put another Rocket's base down. Go ahead and bench another Magikarp. Evolve into Gyarados. Bursting Balloon. And Sycamore. <laughs> Rip. We totally whiffed the energy there. Okay. So grab the Ultra Ball. Get Shame in that way. Could have just Acrobiked twice and we would have hit it. Okay, I'll take the town map. So what do we got over here? We know we got a carp and a double colorless. Okay. Oh, goodness. Um, what do I do here? Um, we have, yeah, we have a VS Seeker. Okay. So just in case we get bumped again. And then... Oh, God. What do we... Okay. Um... Guess we're throwing the Super Rod and the Mew. Really don't want to give him a two prize attacker right now. So we'll do that. We'll grab the Shaman. We got a three card setup out of this. Need to hit that colorless though. Oh, rip. Oh, geez. I don't want to put another Gyarados down. That's terrible. Oh my god, what, like, what is this? Ugh, pass. <laughs> Ripperoni. I mean, I guess we can play an end next turn. Probably gonna be the better play. The fact that we whiff that energy just makes me cringe. 
Okay, so we see the Bisharp. Now, I don't think he can use Mockclaw. He Retaliate will be enough to KO us, though. Oh, wait, no, it won't. We have all the Gyarados. Don't listen to me. So he's going to Ultra Ball here for presumably another Shaman, unless he has a Sycamore or a Versus Seeker. Yeah, okay. So he grabs another Shaman, and so if only we could... If we had like, I don't know, do we have like a Dusknoir that we can move that energy, or that damage around with? Because that'd be pretty hilarious. We do have Lysander, so maybe we can top deck a double colorless, like a Luxac. Alright, so yep, there's another Skyfield. That's fine. We need to find Mr. Mime, too. Okay, so he's gonna end us. That's fine. Get rid of this six card hand. Six cards of, well, five cards of it was junk. There's our energy. Even hit two of them. Oh boy. And there's the Joltik, so we need to go find Mime. Like, hardcore need to go find Mime. So he puts on two more Xerneas as well. Here we see a Trainer's Mail. And that's going to be for a Floatstone. Okay, that's fine. He doesn't have an attack just yet. I don't know if he plays Max Elixirs or not. Okay, so a Floatstone is going to go on the Bisharp. I'm not really sure why he put that down there right now. Okay, so he does just retreat into Xerneas, it looks like. Bursting Balloon pops, and it just falls off. We top deck the Mime. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's super, super good. I don't even think we need to really play much of anything here. We just put the Mime down. Um, I guess we could knock the Stadium. I don't even really think that's necessary. I think we just go double colorless and smack. So 150 is pretty good. Um, take the Magikarp. And we're in a good spot. Uh, Retaliate is still not going to do enough to kill us. Hopefully he doesn't Lysander or Mime. If he does, we just buddy-buddy it, I guess. Steady Sycamore. So we see, was that a switch? Yeah. I mean, all right, another Sycamore. So we're in a decent spot here. I mean, he's got one, two, three, four, five types. So he's doing more than enough with, uh, with Rainbow Force here. And that's gonna that's gonna shove it on one of our Gyaradoses. But we're gonna be able to make a pretty solid comeback since he's already played his supporters, and we're not getting end. So we're gonna lose this Gyarados. We can buddy buddy. We also have Ultra Ball that can search, so we can actually get a Magikarp and a Gyarados. We also have another Magikarp in hand waiting, so we can bring this one out. Got lots of options here, actually, surprisingly. And we do hit a Versus Seeker, so we could try to end here, drop his hand by a couple of cards. Um, we really don't need a fourth Magikarp right now, so I think we're actually going to Buddy Buddy for the Gyarados. We won't have to Ultra Ball that way, and we can kind of conserve some resources. So we'll just take the Gyarados. Um, then we have to do that again. And we'll get two damage counters on another Magikarp. And that's our, what is that, our third? Yeah, that's our third stadium. So he's gone through two Skyfields now. We've only got one double colorless in here, so I'm not going to special charge. I'm thinking just the N. So we can go Evolve, double colorless, versus Seeker for the N. And we can play that to get a fresh hand here and try to continue to draw into some plays for next turn. We do get another Gyarados. So that's good to see. And we can just knock this thing out. And that puts us in a pretty good spot since he doesn't have an uh, EXP share. So we have the Gyarados. We're going to take the double colorless. And if we can start picking Shamans then we'll be in an even better spot. This is still not enough to KO us. It would do 90 so we would have 110. And we do see the Galvantula come down. And if he's able to couple that with a Hex Maniac, we could be in a lot of trouble. Otherwise, we may want to try to target that thing down very quickly. Because that could take both our Magikarps out and we would be in a world of hurt in that scenario. So, probably want to try to find Lysander. Um, we don't have one in the discard yet. He does go and dig for an end, so he's going to try to send that double colorless and our Gyarados back into the deck. Seems like the right play. 
And we draw, okay, we draw Lysander, Buddy Buddy. We also draw Special Charge. We can play all of these before we shame in here. So he attaches an energy to the Xerneas, and we're going to get walloped here with an attack. But it's actually not going to be enough to kill us, so that's going to put him in a bad spot. And then we'll have to make the decision here between knocking out Xerneas or knocking out Galvantula. Or potentially cherry picking a shame in here, which could be a pretty good play too. We take 90 damage from Gyarados. And we top deck Sycamore, which can't really complain about that. So I don't really think we need to play much of our hand just yet. I think in this scenario we probably just want a Lysander. Um, as for what we want a Lysander, that's anyone's guess. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and just try to finish this off in a little more of a timely manner. And I don't really think anything else is necessary to play since he didn't knock us out. So we can just full retaliation again, get another KO, claim two prize cards this time. And we'll grab the Gyarados and the Trainer's Mail this time. And so we got one Magikarp in there. We do have a Buddy Buddy on hand. And then we'll be able to shuffle the two double colorless back now. Okay, so he's going to end us down to two. Ugh, that's terrible. Maybe we'd redraw that Shaman or Sycamore or something. I don't know. We need something. Okay, so we get the Gyarados back and we get a Trainer's Mail. That's at least something. Hopefully, um, we've got only one Sycamore and one VS Seeker in the discard pile. So he grabs a Lysander off Trainer's Mail there, which... I'll have to wait until next turn to use. And we see just another fairy energy on the Xerneas, but he's going to knock us out with Bisharp. So he's going to super rod Xerneas, fairy energy, and Shaman back into the deck, and Retaliate will knock us out. And now we really have a question of what we want to bring up. Because, let's see, we have any floats? No floats in the discard, but we don't have a big hand, so I think we just bring up a Magikarp. Try to hit something off this T mail. Oh, we top deck Shaman. Okay. Okay, that puts us in a much better spot. Um, I think we take the Buddy Buddy here. Because we can use it before we Shaman. So we're going to Buddy Buddy for a Magikarp. I don't even know what he's got in here. I guess nothing. Okay, that works. Alright, so he left our stadium in play. That was pretty generous. So we'll put the Magikarp down, evolve into Gyarados, and we will get a six-card setup here. It's pretty darn cool. Come on, VS Seeker. Yeah! Oh, but we whiff the... Oh, we, we whiff the energy! Oh, rip. So bad. Okay. So we're going to float stone, a bursting balloon. Um, oh, I really don't want to play that other Gyarados. That's so terrible. Um, can't end. Super Rod is gone. How many Buddy Buddies are we down? Only two. Okay. Only down two Buddy Buddies. So that's okay. So I think, let's see. He's got how much HP? 100. We would, yeah, if we evolved, we'd only be doing 90. That won't do the trick. We got a Sycamore. Okay. There it is. We do get the second Super Rod, so we can use that. Send all of those back into the deck. And let's see, we still got two VS Seekers left. We're on num double colorless number three. And we should still have special charge in the deck somewhere, too. So I think we just attach this double colorless. We'll go ahead and throw another floatstone down. And full retaliation again. So he's going to get the energy moved over to Galvantula here. Um, let's see, two shamans are already used, so we're just going to grab the dive ball. So Xerneas is going to come up, and he can do stuff. Do you see another EXP share this time? It goes on to the Bisharp on the bench. And you got to think he's going to end us down to one here. I mean, he's kind of he kind of has to. 
I mean, steady sycamores. Oh my goodness. And so we should pretty much have the game now. Because we can... We'll draw for turn. We'll get nine cards in deck. Oh. The one thing that could have messed us up. Oh. I was hoping he didn't have any more of those. Because that is all four of our stadiums gone. Oh, let me freaking click. But he takes damage from Bursting Balloon, which is very relevant. That Bursting Balloon is is going to put us in a spot where we can win this game. So, let's see. We should have a Gyarados in the deck. We should have a Double Colorless in the deck. That should be enough to win us the game. There's the Gyarados. Yeah. Okay. Um, sure. That's fine. Doesn't really matter. So, we evolve here. And we only need to do 60 damage, which we're already doing. I guess we could do this just because. Really don't need to. I feel like we're probably just BMing at this point. Not really a good idea. I don't think that's very cool. So we probably shouldn't do it. Um, whatever, we'll take the Mew. And we'll just Sycamore for the rest of our deck. So, uh, 30, 60, 90... That'll get us our last prize, and Gyarados comes through. So not a great matchup by any means, but we do overcome it. So that's kind of that's kind of cool to see, having to take uh, a lot of single prize knockouts there. We do, we do get the one Shaman pick, which definitely helped, and so we're able to pull the rest of our deck together and win with Gyarados against Rainbow Road. So one win down, and we'll go to game two. Psychic Darkness, Metal, Colorless, what am I up against? That's, is that Mewtwo? Is that Rayquaza? Is that Scizor? Is it something else? Those types don't mean much. Because they mean Shaman, Hoopa, and Magirna a lot of times. Okay, so we get a good start. Open Magikarp, uh, we go first. Our opponent even got a mulligan. Oh god. Oh, and it's none of the above. It's Audino. Okay. So we're going to get a free card here. That's cool. No, I will not be putting that on the board. Okay. Oh, this does a nice 20 damage. I like that. It's a like great number. Okay. So we're going to grab that Sycamore off the Acrobike. We're just going to discard it. Um, Ultra Ball... Sycamore. Um, yeah, we'll discard one of them. So we're just gonna play it anyway. Where's Mr. Mime? Hey, buddy. You would be needed right about now. Um, do we Ultra Ball again? We could. It's probably not the best idea. I think we just shame in here for two. Okay. Oh. Handing me another double colorless right now? That's not ideal. Do that. Do that. Um, kind of wish we had an N in here, I'm not going to lie. Alright, so we'll just do this. And. Um, sure. We'll take this one. Well, ideally, we don't even want that, so I'm not really sure why I searched that. It was kind of a bad play. So we're just going to grab the Sycamore. We'll throw it out. Okay. So, <laughs> we continue to hit nothing. There's a dive ball. Okay. That's good. That's what we wanted. Um, let's go play that. Let's grab a Magikarp. And we got another Trainer's Mail, another dive ball. Nope. Uh, I'll take Pokemon Ranger, I suppose. Just pitch it with the Ultra Ball. The Ultra Ball, we'll pitch the Pokemon Ranger and the Floatstone. Give me another Magikarp. And then... Stadium. 20 damage a pop. And pass turn. Okay, so he attaches a Metal Energy. See a Trainer's Mail. What do we got? Okay, so he grabs an Ultra Ball with T-Mail. 
And where are we going? Okay, we're gonna play said Ultra Ball. We just covered the Sycamore and a Steven. Still not really sure why that's in there. Grabs Hoopa. So here comes the board. There's Hoopa. All right. So I'm gonna guess two Audinos and Shaman. Maybe Magirna. Probably not. Yeah, there's a Audino, is that? Okay, McGeer and Unshaman. Okay, there it is. Okay, so Audino sees the board. And this 20 damage that this thing took is actually very big. Okay, there's McGeer and there's Shaman set up for three. Uh, the reason that's so big is because that'll put Mega Audino instead of at 230, it will be at 210 or 220, whatever it's got. Anyway, it'll be at 200 or 210, which is within Gyarados range. And he's going to Lysander up the Mime. And so, of course, we discarded that Floatstone. And he Drain Slaps us for 20. There goes our Bursting Balloon. So we have one... Um, we have one... Uh, is that two? Yeah, damn, that's, that's bad. We've got one uh, Floatstone to go find. So... We'll Sycamore, we'll dig for it. Um, Acrobite, oh geez, wonderful. Hit two versus Seekers. Just absolutely lovely, we're down three Seekers already. That's so many levels of bad. Okay. Uh, T-Mail, there it is. Little luck never hurt. Go ahead and Dive Ball for the last Magikarp. And we'll have ourselves a knockout. How about that? Floatstone up here. Alright. And I don't think we really need to do much else. Full retaliation, yo. 210 damage, just like that. How do you like damn apples? Alright, so another Audino is just going to come right up and be a sacrificial lamb, essentially. He could remove that 20 damage with Drain Slap, but if he does that, he's not Mega Evolving, so we're just one-shotting him again. So he does Lysander. He brings up a Magikarp this time. So we actually may have to retreat using a... Oh, no, never mind. He's going to do the job for us. He's just going to knock us out. Yeah, so I have Lysander. Oh, he's not. He's going to Mega Evolve. Okay. It's not going to do a job for us. Well, we did draw the colorless, so we can just retreat here. This is well played. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, no, it's not there. All right. Wanted to say thank you, but apparently this game is just fickle and doesn't let me. So we're just going to retreat, and we're going to full retaliation for another knockout. <laughs> All right. Cool. Cool. Got a dive ball for another Gyarados. Okay, he just goes ahead and forfeits right there. So we're uh, we're on a roll. So uh, we could probably go ahead and fit one more game in here. We'll go ahead and play a third one. Okay, so that looks like a Volcanian. It's got water sleeves. I guess that works. I mean, it's half water. Win the coin toss. Heck yeah. I love going first. We have the same deck box. I like his taste in deck boxes. Okay, so we're going to get the Mew this time. So we haven't got really gotten to use that. That's kind of cool. We have a pretty good hand, all things considered. Alright, so he flips over a Volcanian EX. So we're just going to flip our prizes right now. Two stadiums! Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's not good. Um, Alright, so we will dive ball here. Grab a Magikarp. And let's put the stadium down. Play a Magikarp. Play a double colorless. And play a Shaman. Take a four card pull here. Okay. There's a trainer's mail. Ooh. Gross. Alright. Um, I think we just grabbed the next stadium, actually. You can hold on to that in hand and pass the turn and just Wait to play the Gyarados. Now Mew's not going to hit him for weakness the way that the Gyarados itself does. So we do probably want to remember that since he has the EX Volcanian active and not the regular one. We do see him Ultra Ball for Hoopa here. 
BS Seeker and Ranger go away, and he puts Skyfield down. So we're going to see Hoopa for Shaman, I'm guessing, and one or two Volcano Aniacs, depending on if he plays Flareon. Okay, so it's Flareon, Volcanion, and Shaman. So we're going to see all this stuff kind of just hit the bench now. We'll see if he's got an energy. Yep, that goes on to Flareon. And here is a four-card setup from Shaman. There's a Max Elixir. Just going to get up to two energy now on that uh, on that Flareon. So it's already very close to attacking. We see a third Max, or a second Max Elixir, but he, he misses this one. Another Shaman, three card setup. First Pokemon he's played that isn't a full art. Actually, I like the regular art more. All right, so we see an Entei now. Just loading that board up. And then, we'll, okay, we'll get a Steam up here, so. Plus 30 if he gets an attack. And there's a Sycamore, okay. So he discards a Skyfield of Fire Energy and an N. Kind of glad he didn't end me, not going to lie. There's another Elixir, another Whiff. Well, I'm cool with that. Fighting Fury Belt goes on Flareon. And he passes his turn just like that. So, oh man, another Colorless? I didn't want that. Let's put the Stadium down. All right, so that's our last Stadium until we start taking prize cards. He's going to have to discard one of his Shamans. Okay, so we're going to put Gyarados down. We'll put the energy over here on the Mew. Oh, wait, is there something we need out of the... No, there's not. A second more. Okay, that's good. So we can go Acrobike. We'll just take another Acrobike. I don't really need the Bursting Balloons right now. Um, We hit the Gyarados here. Uh, I guess... Um, third Acrobike. Oh, Shaman. Nice. So we throw a couple of balloons away by doing that. There's the dive ball. Okay, that's what I was looking for. That's a much better play now. So we can grab two Magikarps from the deck now. Plus, we have one in hand, so let's see. We can always Super Rod that Gyarados back into the deck. So I think we actually just throw the Shaman, or we we'll throw the N, too. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw the N. Which probably was a mis mistake, but when he takes a knockout, we can inevitably uh, return with all of our, uh, or with our Shaman. So we're going to put all these Magikarps into play, and we will Full retaliation for 210 damage, a clean KO, and we'll grab Professor Sycamore and one of our Magma Bases off the prizes. So that leaves us with Burst Balloon, Ultra Ball, Magma Base, and Ranger. Ranger is probably the last one we want. So, brings up the Flareon, so he'll be able to knock us out, but then Gyarados will just come up and laugh at him. So he's going to end us down to, well, just... I guess just a four again. He ends us out of this hand, though, which kind of sucks. But, you know, we still draw pretty well. Puts an energy on Flareon, so we'll be able to knock out Mew here. Do we have an N in here? I think we discarded one, yeah. So that actually ends up helping us. So Blaze Ball is going to knock Mew out. We'll trade the prize cards. We're just going to bring Gyarados up. And he's got two tens, so if we have two, we'd be doing, what was it, 150? Yeah, we're doing more than enough. We can get another Gyarados set up. So we can buddy-buddy for a Gyarados. And one thing, when we're, when we're hitting for weakness, we can kind of keep one step ahead here, since we don't have to rely so much on having three Magikarps all on the bench at once and then having to make the play every turn. So that is definitely beneficial. So, I don't, even, nah, I don't even know if we need to do that. I guess we can try to reach for a colorless here. Nope, that's not going to happen. Okay, so we got Mew in the discard, and that's it. That's not going to do much. 
floatstone one of these things. And then I think we're just going to end. We'll drop his hand side way down. Since he has no energy on the board, we might as well drop it from, from what is it? He's got eight cards all the way down to four. We hit the double colorless, so we're in good hands. I think we'll hold it for now. Well, now we might as well. Oh, jeez, I don't know. That's so awkward. Oh, screw it. And full retaliation again. So weakness is going to be our friend here. We do 300 damage. And so we're just going to grab these two. We don't even need the bursting balloon. And that, that puts us in a pretty solid spot. I, mean, I guess we don't OHKO the Hoopa. But we one-shot everything else. Alright, so he just brings up the Volcanian EX. Why he brought that up and not either Entei or Hoopa is beyond me. Maybe he's got a float stone for it. So we see Ultra Ball discarding Sycamore and Lysander. Grabs a Shaman. I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the one he buddy buddied back to his hand before we end him away. So we're going to see a five card setup. There's a float stone for the Volcanian. But we've got ourselves in position here. We would like to hit a Lysander, ideally. Assuming that Entei knocks us out, we'd have to hit a Max Elixir here. It's already down three of them. So he goes for the Sycamore off the Versus Seeker, not the N. Does he have an N in here? Oh yeah, he does. He's got two of them. So digging for that Max Elixir. We see a weakness policy go on to the uh, regular Volcanian. That's interesting. Actually relevant, but he leaves the Volcanian EX up front so we can just kill this thing. And that'll be the game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a little bit of a misplay, I think, on his part. But Gyarados, you know, obviously taking advantage of weakness, that's huge. And we are able to come through. So three for three. And in that scenario, now unbeaten. And we will go ahead and take this, call it a video. So that's Gyarados. Uh, that's a really cool deck. Uh, might just be one of my new favorites in standard. Uh, definitely a bit streaky, but very aggressive. And I like that. So uh, that's what I got for you today. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.